Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be talking about lipsticks that are just collecting dust in my lipstick collection. I really thought about the lipsticks I wasn't really reaching for during the last video that I filmed, which was like my mini lipstick collection. If you missed that, I'll throw that up in the cards if you want to check it out. But I have quite a few lipsticks, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine lipsticks. I should have just made a ten. Damn it. I'm kind of upset now. But I should have made a ten. But I have nine lipsticks I'm going to be talking about that are just sitting in my collection that I'm not reaching for, I'm not using, and odds are I'm going to be decluttering if I don't use them soon. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos, and if you want to see any more and you haven't already, I hope you consider subscribing, hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday to Friday. Okay, so let's just jump right in. The first lipsticks that I have, I have two from Wet n Wild. These are both from their Mega Last Liquid Catsuit lines. The first one is Toffee Talk. This is like a gray, a beige, a brown gray kind of shade, but I feel like this shade in their collection, the formula is different. It's not as good, it's not as creamy, it doesn't last as well, it dries down really matte. It's just a very different formula than what I'm used to seeing from their liquid catsuit line and unfortunately it's just a huge miss and because of this I haven't even worn it for filming for short periods of time I just have not been wanting to reach for it at all I have other shades that are similar to this in my collection that I reach for if I do want that look so I ultimately think I'm just going to end up decluttering this one the next shade from the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit line that I'm not really reaching for is called I Don't Desert You. This is a metallic shade. It's really only one that I could see myself wearing during the holidays. It's a metallic maroon shade. I don't feel myself reaching for metallic lip shades almost ever, especially if I'm going to work, especially if I'm going out. A metallic lip to me is really more editorial, really more just for filming or for filming like looks or taking pictures. I really don't have a use for a metallic lipstick that I'm not reaching for because I'm not going to wear it, you know, day to day. I'm not going to wear it in everyday life. So I, this one I might hold on to to see if I wear it during this upcoming holiday season and if I don't, odds are it'll be gone. Another lipstick that I really think I won't reach for until the holidays is from Smashbox. This is actually kind of a sample. It doesn't even say the name of it on here, but it's their liquid lipstick and it's a red metallic shade that honestly I could not see myself wearing outside of Christmas. This one I don't see any harm or foul in not using because I'm pretty sure this was just a sample or a point perk from Sephora, but ultimately I'm not reaching for it. I'm not reaching for a metallic lip. If I wear a red lip, it is a matte red lip that I know is going to stay throughout the day. So again, I think this one I'm going to keep throughout this upcoming Christmas season just to see if I do wear it. If I don't, I'm going to declutter it because there's no reason it should be keeping up space in my collection if it's just going to keep up space in my collection. The next two lipsticks I want to talk about are from ColourPop. Now I just did a 4x4 from ColourPop Cosmetics, if you missed that I will throw that up in the cards, but in that video I talked about how much I don't like their ultra matte lips. These are two ultra matte lips that even though I liked the colors at first I cannot get past the formula. The first one is it's actually a collaboration with I Love Sarahi. This is the ultra matte lip in Mamacita I believe. It's a beautiful beautiful dark burgundy shade, but because of the formula of the ultra matte lip, how uncomfortable it is, how much it cracks and looks really bad, I can't wear it. So even though I fell in love with the color, I love how it looks when you first put it on. It only looks good for like the first 30 seconds you have it on. So like put it on, take your selfie immediately, and then just take it off, just take it off. The next ColourPop shade I have is actually another collaboration. Maybe I just don't like their collabs as much. This one was with Hello Kitty, and this is the Ultra Matte Lip and Milk Bottle. It's a really pretty pale pink, but again, I cannot get past this formula. I just, it doesn't look good. It's super uncomfortable. I think I wore this once and never got past it. No, thank you. Next, I want to talk about a lipstick from MAC. Again, this is a collab. What is it with me and not liking lipstick collabs? 
I need to stop buying lipstick collabs because obviously I don't like them that much. <laughs> This is the MAC and Patrick Star collab. This is one of the first collabs that he did with MAC, and this is the shade Sweet Mama Star. It's a cute color. It's a nude. It's nah. I'm waiting for the airplane to go by. But there's just nothing special about this shade. It's just a nude. The formula isn't fantastic. It's not the most comfortable. I definitely have other shades that are similar, that are more comfortable, last better throughout the day. I really think collabs are only great if you're like a huge fan of the person they're collabing with. Otherwise, I don't really think the quality is that great. You're really buying a collab to support the person they're collabing with, not really to support the product. Let's see how much hate I get for that. <laughs> okay. And the last lipsticks that I want to talk about are all from Kylie's Weather Collection. I did a full video on the Weather Collection. I tested these out for weeks, but since I tested these out, I have not touched them. Not even the black lipstick, and I think the black lipstick was actually pretty cool. Not touched it. Not touched it. The other two lipsticks were fairly uncomfortable. One was like a gray, a brown, gray kind of nude. The other one was a fairly light pink, orangey kind of nude. I just... Nothing about these is unique. Nothing about these is really comfortable. You're really only buying these because Kylie Jenner came out with them. And I guess the tubes are kind of cute. I should declutter these. If anything, I'll just keep the black one because I feel like it's nice to have a bullet black lipstick. But again, I have one from ColourPop. I don't really need this one. But you know what? I'm only going to hold on to it because I want to do a video all about black lipsticks for Halloween. Watch out for that. But the other two, I'm going to declutter. And odds are I'll probably declutter this after that video. Shh. So, surprise, we have two extra lipsticks in this video, but they're both minis that I talked about in my mini lipstick collection. I'll throw that up in the cards if you missed it. But since they're both minis, we're just gonna like put them together and pretend that they're one. So just, if you're, you're, if you're cool that I am. <laughs> so the first lipstick I'm talking about is from MAC. This is the lipstick in Whirl, and I've really only worn this once or twice before just not reaching for it ever again. But it is a really pretty warm shade that I need to reach for more. It's just I struggle with this matte formula a little bit. It's not the most comfortable, but if I com like if I combine this with a nice gloss or if I just wear a balm underneath it, I feel like I could really make this one work cuz I love the shade. The last mini I'm talking about is from Fenty Beauty. This is one of her Mademoiselle lipsticks and this is in the shade Griselda. In my last video, I talked about how this looks like a brown and it does look like a brown, but it's actually like a really really deep purple, purple brown, brown purple but this is something I really do want to get use out of because I have not used this I've swatched this I have not used this once but I really think with the right look I could pull this off especially in the fall so thank you so much for watching this video all about lipsticks that I don't reach for especially coming from someone who used to be so afraid of lipstick I feel like this is an enlightening video because I went from being afraid of lipstick to jumping in with all the lipsticks and now I own so many it's like where do I even start so I think this is a great place to just really understand what formulas I like which ones I'm not reaching for which ones I am reaching for and to really curate my collection from there so I really hope you like this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really helps me out and i hope if you haven't already you'll subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye